Hello, welcome to the final section, security monitoring and logging. Here we will look at monitoring logs in Linux. We start this section with the video Viewing and Managing Log Files Using Log Check. As an administrator, while checking for malicious activities on the system or any software issue, log files play a very important role. However, with an increasing amount of software, the number of log files being created is also increased. This makes it very difficult for the administrator to analyze log files properly. In such scenarios, Log Check is a good tool to help administrators analyze and scan log files. Log Check scans logs for interesting lines, as per its documentation. These lines mainly refer to security issues that have been detected by the tool. We will now take a look at how to install and configure LogCheck as per our requirements. The first step is to install the package using this command. After the installation has completed, we need to make changes to the logcheck.conf configuration file. Open it. The first thing to edit in the configuration file is the format of the date time stamp, which is used in the subject of the mail sent by LogCheck. Next, we need to change the value of the report level variable in order to control filtering of the logs as per our requirement. We have three options available for this, and by default, the value is set to server. The workstation value filters out most of the messages and is less verbose. The paranoid value is useful for systems with high security. It runs as few services as possible and is more verbose. After this, we change the value of the send mail to variable and provide our email address to it to receive logs on our email ID. The mail generated by log check uses different subject lines for different events. If we wish to modify these subject lines, we can edit the value of the variables shown here. Log check, by default, uses the logcheck.log files file to maintain a list of log files to be monitored by it. So I open it. If we wish to use any other file to define the list, and if it is in another location, we can edit the rule deer variable to define the new path. If we want log check to monitor any particular file, apart from what is already defined, log check.log files file, we can add an entry in it, as shown here. In the file, we add this line. That's all for now. 